there should be a cave here, I, I take it. Ooh, here we go. Gotta hurry up, too. I probably don't have a lot of time for this. Ah, oh, it's gonna crush me. Uh... Oh, that's gross. Let's try that again. Don't crash into it! Uh, my damn ship. It's fine. Hunter 43. Motherfucker, let me through. Ooh, we dead. This is where the dude disappeared. I've been to this. If you come here to look for Coleus, this is where we were when he vanished. He's missing for two days now. Your strange wandering rock friend isn't here. Is here, though Coleus isn't. Coleus and I observed this unusual rock shard, several smaller rocks, and at least two other caverns, which were this is relevant. But what happened before Coleus disappeared? We were examining the different rocks. We recall Coleus standing on the largest one, the Wandering Rock. Okay. The lantern died when he lit. He was gone. Okay. Well, if I'm attached to it, I can look away and see where it went. I need somebody else to observe this. Oh, you know what? Hold on a sec. You're somebody else. Okay, there's my scout. My scout moved. My scout's back. 233 meters. The only issue is, I don't necessarily know how to get to it. Oh, this turns off the light, right? I don't know, uh... Hold on, something moved. Wasn't this in the center before? Wait, I'm somewhere else. Hold on a sec. This is somewhere else. That's why they're saying to, to screw around with the light. You're you're standing. Oh, that's supposed to scare me when it shows up. Oh no, it's no, it's the scout's light. Yeah, one one is one was there. This is hella confusing. I don't know what's going on, except for this shit's moving. I think that thing is influencing shit moving around. Every while or so, that skeleton gets moved. I need to attach to the skeleton and see where the skeleton's going. Pieces of it are moving. Oh, it did... God... I really don't know what the fuck's going on with this thing. I'm gonna get crushed because I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go. I think I know what it is. I need I need to have the entirety of everything off when I do this. So this will keep it around. Then I gotta go turn the light off like this. I guess when I turn the light on, I'll be somewhere different. I am somewhere different. How curious. This rock took me... It took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. 
The Wandering Rock has returned. Never before have I been so delighted to see a sedimentary specimen. I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation. Hypothesis? If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock, so long as I'm not observing my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Mallory is here now, too. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, explaining the need for darkness, the being can become entangled with a quantum object and they move together. Friends, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule. He has also promised me he'll never vanish again, even if he does learn something useful from it. I don't. I couldn't touch the moon, though, which is kind of a problem. Nor could I impose darkness. Just, oh no, let me read it first. Friends, if you find any sign of Colas, I'd like for you to tell me he vanished without trace or research trips and missing ever since. Some of us from the Sunless City are here to search the Colias can tell us more about your expedition. In my gratitude for Colias and I, we're studying the, caver the caves of geology. We hope to learn more about a unique and wandering rock. Where was young Colias lost, Mallory? He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed in the north. It happens in an instant without warning. I turned away from Colias to examine a sample, and when I turned back, he simply wasn't there anymore. He had a limited supply of error, and I'm afraid for him. Ah, uh, let me read it. Lake bed cave, something, something, that she has to read it. Ah, oh, you suck so much. I don't know how to not observe my, my, uh, the, the... Uh, that literally killed me? Really? Was I? I guess I was pretty weak. So, I, I would need a way to be in complete darkness when observing the quantum moon. Maybe that's what... Oh, that's probably what it is, too. The quantum moon is probably only accessible uh, in the in the giant deep because it's so dark. I bet you the quantum moon appears in the center of it or something. Maybe that's the sixth location? It's underwater. Ooh, okay, so there's more than... There's creatures down here, and some sort of horrible quantum signal. I don't know if I'm being pulled up or what. I don't know if I'm fighting against something. I have no point of motion reference. Oh, all of the swirling current is preventing me from getting through. I bet the only way in is probably through one of these. I wonder how much this is going to kill me. Oh, I can't get in. I'd have to go in through the top, maybe. The problem is, is that the top of these are the top of the atmosphere. Ooh, oh, I see. Here we go. I gotta get to the top of this. It gets pulled in and out. That's what's going on. Where is it though? It should be coming out soon. Here, yeah, yeah, that'll take me in. Me. No, no, no! My ship is gonna get lost as well as me. Me in, me in, me in. <laughs> There's my ship. Is my ship sinking? No. Oh my god, I have to literally chase after it in the water now. It's getting further away. It's in the current, is why. Oh, and everything is in the current. Oh my god, even this freaking... Ah, oh, this is horrible. Well, this is something. Control module. Yeah, this thing does end up in there. Okay. See, this ends up in the planet. So there's an, there's one of the towers. 7 minutes, 46 seconds ago. Long-range probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon. I have bad news, Evans. Yarrow says there is a problem for the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Kasama. I wish I were, my friend. 
But no, they aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet and Mello that they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update. Mallow and I will join you in Daz. Pr Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. This is it. We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit around Giant's Deep for assembly. Our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tire tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. So this is the probe cannon. I hope I have enough time to finish doing whatever I'm doing here. I should probably stay inside. Or... No, 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 don't take me, don't take me. No, 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 I, don't, I wait too much. That, it went into space that quickly? This thing is broken. No. Whoa, that's spooky. This thing is meant to keep me grounded while this is all happening. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back. This is this is so incredibly ridiculously violent. Brittle hollow projection stone, okay. Ooh, we're this is inside the uh how do I get in here? There's an entrance there. So this is inside uh that dome in Brittle Hollow that I couldn't get into earlier. And they somehow managed to capture these. Um, I don't know how to get in here, but this is my next. So Riddle Hollow is I gotta go back there. Well, one of those is probably gonna end up picking up my uh, picking up my ship. <laughs> they might actually launch me out into space. Okay, here goes my ship. I need to go get sucked up along with it. Hope it doesn't kill me too hard. Damn you, ship. I'll be there in a minute. At least now I know what I'm looking at. The pole basically is a big giant chunk of ice. Wait, hold on a sec. Is there something under it I can get in? There is, er, uh... Wait, there's gravity things. Hold on. Where does this lead from? Hold on. Here, 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 here. Don't know how to activate this, though. No, 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 no. I'm gonna jump for it. Screw it. I can't believe I made it. Alright, uh... Those are gravity crystals. No, 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 no. Where's the next one? No, no, no. Gravity circle, kill me! No. <laughs> Fuck you, gravity circle. <laughs> Fuck you, gravity crystal bastards. Great. Uh, damn it. How far away is my ship? My scout's going out there. Where's my ship? Yeah, it hasn't come along yet, so... <sighs> Son of a bitch. Wonder if I'm gonna lose a scout first. That would be something. Can the scout survive the the death of the sun? If I die first, something's wrong. What? Are you kidding me? Emergency scout recall <laughs> activated. Okay. Okay. Wait, is this is this where I should have entered from? Damn it, I think it is. I think I came in from the back way by accident. I nearly pooped myself out into the black hole too. 
Oh, here we go. I see these. The whole line of these things. It's a broken one. No, 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 no. Keep me on the thing. Damn you, I hate you so much. That kind of looks like solid ground. No, 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 no. Oh, fucking, fucking piece of shit. Crash into that at least. Or whatever. This is the. This is frustrating. <laughs> this is. This is. clunky as fuck. You fucking asshole. <sighs> Alright, well, what can I what can I ram myself into to kill me so I can start over? Brittle Hollowed has gotta be it's gotta be my, my least favorite planet by leaps and bounds. Just because the black hole was fun for a bit, and then every time you have to do some tricky platforming and lose like three or four minutes of time before your next attempts because you made one mistake, starts to become agonizing. Wow, that was quick. Having no reliable way back just sucks. I mean, if I can maybe make it to, to White Hole Station, that might be a little bit faster, but then I gotta get back to my ship, and that's gonna be a pain in the dick. Might not be able to anyways. Up for it. Or forget. Conway, Daz, and I were lifting the, the orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Conway, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current. But ours sank straight to the core. Kasava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomena myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at the Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Conway, I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. The trailhead starts at Brittle Hollow's equator. Kasava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit. One component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update. It is now clear there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones in Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. Okay, I look for the counterclockwise ones. They use the cyclones Kasava typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My gratitude, Spire. Conway is showing me your handiwork. I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone. But was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. Okay. Alright, I getcha. Can I interact with him? One brings me up. Does one push me down? Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of half expected that. Wow. These things are hella far out. And there seems like there's many of them. Or these are the orbits or something. I don't know what's going on. I think this is the orbits of the uh, the quantum moon or something. What have we learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe? 
Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye signal to the star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Adel Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. Hypothesis? The eye has stopped emitting its signal. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around the star system's sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Kasama, how can you suggest that? The eye signal called out to summon us to the star system. I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye story, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? We know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover the, those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gra gravity's pull. Giant Deep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. And it's moonless, except for when the quantum moon is visiting. Yes, let's build a cannon in orbit around Giant Deep. Wait, did I just shuttle around it? Hold on a sec. I think I just whipped around its gravity. But that pushes me down, so that's completely worthless. Or no, it pulls me up. I was misreading that. <laughs> what? We're here again. I learned something. Oh, cool. I went to the comet and... Oh, wow. Wow. So that's how the Dubai died? That's really sad, isn't it? I knew it was a long time ago, but still. Stars above. It's lucky we haven't evolved to live on land yet. To think if the comet hadn't killed them, our species might have coexisted in the solar system. Uh, that would have been amazing. But I guess if I had wanted to learn, if I hadn't wanted to learn why the Domai disappeared, I'd never have left Timberhearth and come out here or had any of these adventures. Don't don't get me wrong, space is terrifying. But, you know, it has its moments. I found the Namai writing about a quantum pilgrimage. Pilgrimage to the quantum moon? The Namai mentioned the quantum moon in a lot of their writing, so it was clearly special to them. And, um, special enough to make a trip there by themselves. Sounds like a coming of age ritual. Like how hatchlings stay hatchlings until their stomachs are strong enough to drink sap wine. Maybe once the Namai journeyed to the quantum moon, they were considered an adult? I might be able to make it to the ship like this. Oh, there's the, there's the temple of quantum knowledge. Ooh. Ah, really? How freaking rude. I should... Oh, jeez. Did that literally evaporate that piece? I'm about to make this. I, I could probably make this. This doesn't kill me. <laughs> we could. We good. Let's go to Giant's Deep, find the counterclockwise tornado, whirlpool, whatever. And uh, see how that goes. <laughs> 